Hi, this is my Milkovich two-stage oscillator. Here you have the pivot point of the pendulum. See how it's attached to the lever. Here you have the fulcrum. Here you have the recovery springs that converts the downforce of the lever, recovering the, the potential energy. This one is a welded spring. The other two are loose, only taped, with using masking tape. Here's the lever. It has one meter and 23 centimeters to this side. It is attached through this chain into a ratchet. The ratchet here converts the up and down movement of the lever into an axle movement, okay? You see that when it goes down, it doesn't produce any movement. But when it goes up, it takes up the mass that's at the, attached at the end of the string here, see? Rolling up this nylon string, taking the mass up. You can see that in this direction, it rolls up. And at the other direction, it moves freely. Here's the mass that goes up, storing the potential energy. This is the lever moving up, taking this mass up. This mass does not implicate in any, in any movement of the lever going down. It does not add additional weight to the lever, additional force. Here you have again the springs, the two other two attached with masking tape. Here's the fulcrum, and here's the pendulum. It is one meter long, and at the end it has this bob using fishing leads, and inside there's about two kilos of these leads.